I would like to welcome you back to an update to a video that I done back in the winter. The 20th President of the United States, James Arthur Garfield. In the previous video, I told you all about the 20th President, but because of the winter months, the actual mausoleum was closed. And so I have returned to Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland, Ohio. I have returned to show you the inside of the mausoleum of the 20th President of the United States, James Garfield. Upon entering the mausoleum, I was at a loss for words. Honestly, I had never seen anything like this mausoleum the decorative structure and all the intricate work that went into building this monument to remember the President of the United States. The marble, the granite, the stained glass, everything. It was just awe-inspiring and it was hard for me to believe that something of this magnitude was not only built, but built in the late 1800s. I first take my journey up the steps in the mausoleum. There are actually three stories, but the top story is off limits to the public, as well as this door here. So you go on up, and then you will see a door that takes you to a balcony overlooking uh, the decorative art as you can see there are angels that say north east south and west there are also 13 stained windows that represent the 13 original colonies there are other decorative meanings throughout the entire mausoleum I then came down the stairs toward the basement and I was told that this is the only president that is not in a sarcophagus and that is just in a sealed casket which I had never seen anything like that before so as I walk down the stairs I look around for a second and then I look to the left and then there are these bars on all sides and you can see on the left covered with the American flag Old Glory is the body of James A. Garfield to the immediate right is his wife these are the actual coffins also above them as you can read are the cremated remains of his daughter and son-in-law you can see in those two urns at this different view of the coffins his daughter was just 14 when he was assassinated and when she turned 21 she married someone within his administration and they are interred there above the president and first lady in the urns without a doubt this was the most magnificent and decorative mausoleum that I had ever seen at the end of the day though I couldn't help but wonder what could have been if the 20th president of the United States had lived out his term.